Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It is me, Mr. S. Cameron, and today I am reviewing The Flash, Season 2, Episode 4, the fan series, of course, Origins. So, as you probably know, I'm very late on this episode, but I knew that in advance. I told you guys that in advance, because my own fan film, Captain America, The Taskmaster Trials, just released on Saturday, September 30th, and this is when I'm self-promoting. So, if you want to check out that fan film, please do. It's not, didn't help hit the algorithm. Kind of pissed about that. But, like, not doing as well as anyone in the cast probably hoped it would be doing. So, check it out if you want to. Um, I think it's pretty good. We've heard other people think it's really good. Way better than my last. So, please check out my own fan film, Captain America, The Taskmaster Trials, and any trailer for it on my channel now. Besides that, let's get into it. Okay. So, um, unlike most of these, when I watch it a week later, I'm watching this a few days later. I haven't even seen it in a few days, so... I think this episode was pretty good. Um, I wouldn't say it was as good as episode 3. Season 2, episode 3. I'd say it's the second best episode. Mm, I'd say it's up there with one of the best episodes they've ever done. I don't think it is as good as episode 3 in any sense. I don't think it's really even close to Revelations. I'd say it's definitely the second best, though. I think Origins is the second best episode they've ever made. Revelations is just so much better than Origins. Um, I really liked how they opened this fan film with the Savitar. How it made very clearly from the beginning this is a Savitar part. Loved that. I thought that was a genius way to start it. Loved the origin of Savitar. Pretty basic. Um, the biggest thing I don't like about this is that it's a four episode arc. Like, Look, it could go into episode 5, it might go into episode 5, we don't know. But, like, it was like, this is the big prophesized final battle. But, I didn't see a big, like, it kind of went from him revealing his thing, and it was like, now I know for certain this is the big prophesized final battle. And I didn't really get that. Like, it went from him kind of figuring out who he was, and then it cuts to the big final battle. I don't even know how he knew it was prophesized, like. But, I don't. I liked Savitar kind of just being a dick. Like, <laughs> I don't normally, like, he was just, like, unreasonably evil in this episode. <laughs> like, I don't get why he was so mean in this. Like, it felt really weird tone-wise. Like, it went from him being this kind of godlike figure to him using a knife to stab a Flash fan. And I kind of just didn't get that. It felt like they really wanted to make him that evil. And I didn't mind it. I just didn't love it. And... I don't know. I just didn't love it. Um... I thought that was an interesting choice. As for the final battle, I thought they did that well. I liked him stealing the speed, the Jay Garrick trick. I thought that was pretty good. Well done. Um, I like also how in both seasons, Barry isn't actually faster than the main villain, but he uses his wit to defeat them. Because in these five episodes, it is never shown that Barry actually progresses in his strength of being the Flash. So I do like that they make it seem like he kind of uses his wit to defeat the villains instead of somehow magically getting faster. Um, I thought this episode was good. I felt like, again, this could have been broken up into two episodes. I don't feel... I feel like this season really could have been broken up into a few more episodes. But I feel like it really wanted to rush the ending of this episode. It, I don't know. Yeah, and I know it's not too easy to write these types of things, but I just feel like it was an interesting choice. Because they had a... I feel like they did went began very slowly with Savitar, and then they were like, okay, now we gotta, now we gotta speed up. I think this episode was good. I just think it didn't do Revelations. I think Revelations was so impressive from them. I don't know when we're gonna... Revelations was really impressive. And I don't know when we're going to get something from them that is as impressive as Revelations. 
and I was really excited going into this season, and I liked season one a lot, but season two, episode three, Revelations, I kind of knew from the start I was kind of going to fall in love with that episode. It was really good. Okay, just want to say, I'm really pissed. There is one thing I'm really pissed about, the thumbnail for this video. Okay, just hear me out. Let me go on YouTube. Okay. Crimson Productions. So they have the logo in the in the in the preview in this really awesome blue outline with the black inline. And this really awesome thing with this really cool font. And it's all black and it's all dark. And it really in the blue really captures Avatar. And then they kind of just screw it up with the real thumbnail. Like, honestly, just switch the preview thumbnail and the real thumbnail. Like, the I love the preview thumbnail. It's awesome. Like, I love the colors. I'm sorry, but, like, it, it just it's so sick. And then they're kind of just like, let's just do another one of the two of them running. I don't know. I just like that one a lot. I like the blue. And the posters they did for this episode. Let me find them. Constantine, important warning. Where is it? Yeah, even the posters they've done, they did for this episode. Can't find the poster I'm referring to. Did they take down the poster I'm referring to? I think they actually may have taken down the poster I'm referring to when I'm talking. The, yeah, I think they removed the poster I was referring to when I said that. Damn. Sucks. Oh, maybe not. Oh, yep. I can't find it. I don't know. They had some good posters. I liked... I just liked how it looked a lot. I thought it was a really awesome design choice. Just kind of pissed they got rid of that. Like, the blue just looks so good in contrast with, like, the navy and the inside. I just thought that looked really cool. Um, Overall, I did like this episode, though. I feel like we got some different cinematography from them. Not so different, drastically different, but... I think this season needed more. And I'm going to talk about it in a full season review. I know it never did a full season review for season one. I'm definitely doing a full season review for season two. And, of course, I'm going to do an episode ranking and a full season review. Still have a few days until that. But when the time comes for me to do this, I'm going to talk about this more in depth. I'm just going to kind of tease it now. I think they needed at least one more side character. I think it went from them saying, we have too many side characters, to them saying, we don't have enough. And I'm going to talk about it in length, don't worry. But, like, even in the opening credits, there's Flash, um, Ralph Dimney, and then a stunt double. I think you can get the idea. Just didn't love that choice, but mm, I liked. I still think this episode's amazing. I, of course, I have my issues with it, but like, I have issues with every fan film. So like, I thought this episode was still done very well. I think the issue with this episode is just it's coming out of the best episode they've ever done, which was Revelations. In Revelations, it's like miles better than what they've done before. So even though this is like a second place, it's still a decent amount behind Revelations because I feel like they did so much and so well with Revelations. They paced out a really well story. They paced that story so well. And then it was like, they felt like, nope, we can't pace anything anymore. Now we got to like speed. We got to flash this episode. So like, not the biggest fan of that choice. But let's finish this video up. Directing this was pretty good. I liked how they shot this one. I thought it was better and how they shot some of the other ones. I like how they do coloring, but nothing great. Editing, I did like, though. I thought they edited this way better than I've seen them edit before. I thought they edited it very well. Acting was pretty good. I think out of every... I think that... I, think I know his name. Do I? Yeah. The I'm, For some reason, I'm blanking on who plays um Barry... I know it. He's in every single credits. He's, like, the face of this whole thing. But, like, 
for some reason I'm forgetting it. Um, I'm gonna look it up now because it's gonna be pissing me off. I get very annoyed when I just randomly forget things that I really shouldn't be forgetting. Uh, origins. Show me the opening credits. Um, yeah, so this is what we do in these reviews. We get off topic. Because I need to know the lead actor's name in the fan series. <laughs> Let's see if we can find it. Liam Head. I knew that. Liam Head. Awesome in this role. I loved him as Flash. Loved him as Avatar. I think he's like on another level compared to the other actors we have seen in this series. And I think that comes from him writing and directing it. And I really, I think this is at the point in the series where we can kind of see what I'm going to say in my full review of the season. I'm going to save it for that video, though, so I can stall for views, basically. But I think, I'll just finish this up. I thought acting in this was still very good. I've always liked Liam in this role. Story, story was good. I thought they did this story well. I think it was paced a bit fast, but still good. Choreography was good. I like the choreography in this. And music. I think they did good music choices, honestly, though. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already seen any trailer for my own fan film, Captain America and the Taskmaster Trials, every trailer and the official full fan film is on my channel now. Should probably get in the groove of saying that. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.